my great-grandfather, John C. Poole, came here as a Texas Ranger and um, got one of the first land grants uh, here in Bosque County along the uh, Bosque River. Elizabeth has that connection. She has those roots, and I envy that. I wish I had it. The fact that she can go back and say, my great-grandfather built this home, uh, worked this land, um, that means a lot. Well, I was raised uh, with my granddaddy and grandmother Poole. They were really early pioneers here. Granddaddy was, he was a commissioner when the courthouse was built. And my mother, she kept a, a weather diary that during the terrible drought in uh, 1950. And I, I thought, when I thought about the archives and saving different things, I thought, oh, I can save mother's weather diaries. The idea of having a place where all of the uh, historical records could be kept in a safe way uh, was basically her idea. She worked with it until she saw it finished. This was the first rock commercial building built in Meridian. It was owned by Dr. J.J. Lumpkin. This building came up for sale and we had the money that we had made from our sale of Bosque County land and people. We kept on raising money and getting grants until uh, we finally uh, reached uh, enough to pay for the final restoration. Elizabeth has been a hero of mine for several years, for as long as I've known her. Uh, she has more energy than anyone that I know. And uh, I've watched her through the years and all of her accomplishments, and I'm just awe-inspired. I just uh, feel that I have tried to really bring out all of the people of Bosque County. And I have tried to bring out people that I think have been left out of the history that I think should have been honored. And I feel that it's been a, a labor of love and I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. I think the collection is a child of hers and she's very protective, very guarded, and wants to see it grow up to be the best it can be.